It's time on All Access. We're going behind the scenes following our two championship contenders, Alexei Lukyanuk and Oliver Solberg, in their decisive title battle. This weekend is, is quite uh, kind of important for the championship. Well, it's the last one, so so it's it's all down to this now. And I think this is a very difficult weekend, especially now with the weather changing so much. It could be a very interesting weekend. So I think you have to be play it smart and, and think the long game. And in the end, I have to win and, and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> Stages are pretty okay. Basically, they have very high grip level, but uh, this time we don't know what to expect and uh, the main problem will be to take uh, proper tires for the whole loop, because somewhere you can face full wet conditions, somewhere it will be completely dry probably. So not easy. Lukanyuk is, is the fastest guy out there, you know, and I, for me he's one of the fastest also in R5 and and uh, he, he he's always putting up a fight and I knew that before I came into the season that he will be very difficult to beat. Again, we're starting on tarmac, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, brand new for me, so I knew it was going to be tough to keep up with him, but it's, it's like it is, I'm, I'm enjoying and driving as, as good as I can and, and it, it's going fine. Oliver, uh, he's fast in, uh, in some conditions, he's getting a lot of experience, a lot of seat time, so... Uh, he he's saying that he make first tarmac rally like, but uh, of course we know that he had thousands of kilometers of tests. So uh, it's good to see how uh, youngsters are pro making progress. So uh, the competition is there. Round five of the European Rally Championship, Rally Ilas Canarias, would be the final shootout of the 2020 season. You could feel the tension building in the service park as the drivers arrived for the first leg. It was clear the extremely changeable weather was going to have a huge influence on the rally even before it had started. As the teams made their final preparations, crucially the choice of what tyres to go for, medium or a 7 plus softer compound or maybe even full wets. Let's go for 45. Yeah, for sure not. I think it's better. Uh, Johan, on en quille. Les quatre. We'll take all four. So, if you just do the springs, you know, you'll see 50, 47, or 47, 45 like you had in uh, Portugal. Yeah, so we have we are going to have one softer there and three softer on the rear. And now, can you write a paper what he had before and what he have now, Yuki, so he can put it in his pocket? Yeah. You know, we use this roller bar in Portugal, yeah? You had it on medium, on the wet. Uh, what did you say? It was no, uh, more soft. No, soft. So if it's drying up, I think you should go to medium to, to get a little bit more roll control. I have uh, Larena and Lopez. 47 plus and 27 hay. Solberg was 27 plus and too wet on the car. I don't know in the boot, but for me it's or something like 7 plus. I don't. I, I think a bit crazy to go with weight. With weight? Yeah. Uh, Mick doesn't go 27 and 4, 7 plus. Looks like now. That's the latest that he thinking. If it's no rain, you can't use the rain uh, tire, you know? If it's raining, you know? The weather was fine around the service park, but the reports from out on the stages were not so good. No, I don't think it's going to be too wet. No standing water. So, two, two sevens in the boot, two seven A in the boot, yep. the two best ones. 
and then you put two rings on the car and then we wait with the two last ones if I go full weight or not. Okay, okay for more. As per, I put the one from qualifier. Yes. Still running stage one and start stage two. Yes. We have to take a decision now. It's one or from now. Does it look like it will increase or uh, keep raining? We need to know now. And what do we want to do? Four rain or two uh, uh, seven plus? Mix, mix. Yeah, seven plus. Okay. Maybe it's for rain or maybe it's for slick. We don't know. Oh, it's in one hour. So now you have everything. Talk about pressure. The drivers haven't even started to battle yet, but who has made the right choice? 